and you can't bring back a life that after I have asked for help repeatedly. Angela Severite says the Ministry of Social Services failed her and her daughter Stelena. In February 2021, Angela signed over the care of her daughter to the ministry. A year and a half later, the 14-year-old girl was dead. To have to give my daughter up to get the help that I thought was going to save her, in the end, it, it destroyed me, it destroyed my daughter. Bonnie Ford, a youth worker from a non-profit group, went looking for Stelena. Ford knew the teen was addicted to drugs and living a dangerous life. In late April 2022, Ford found her in bad shape inside a drug dealer's trap house. When Stelena would not leave, Ford contacted social services. 29 days later, a caseworker went to the house but said they could not gain access. A couple days later, Stelena was dead. I think the department needs changes. The Children's Advocacy could make recommendations, but that doesn't necessarily mean the department has to follow them. The opposition is calling on the government to create a child death review committee to investigate the cases of children who die in ministry care. It wants more transparency about what went wrong in cases like Stelena's, so mistakes are not repeated. It's been taking a long time and the stakes are high, you know. In the meantime, we've seen uh, child deaths and injuries and care spike go up. Um, and so I, I, I'd like to see this government move with much more urgency. I have no daughter and I wasn't going to go through with any of this because I thought, well, she's not here now. I don't need to take this on. I don't need to keep this going, but I have to because I don't want her to die in vain. Anytime there's a, somebody uh, passes too soon, it's certainly a tragedy. There's the Minister of Social Services, Gene Social Mikowski, Services. says due to privacy, he cannot speak about the specifics of Stelina's case or the results of an investigation that was conducted. Angela Severite and Bonnie Ford met with Minister Mikowski in his office this afternoon. They want the details of the investigation and any recommendations made public in order to shine a light on what went wrong and to find out how the government intends to fix the system. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.